Hi, welcome to my tutorial on how to make a Costa Coffee novelty cake. The equipment you will need to make your cake is as follows. Sponge or foam pad, white fondant, black and claret fondant, just a small amount, non-stick board, non-stick rolling pin, kitchen towel, water and paintbrush, edible glue. Two paintbrushes for painting, a kitchen knife, marzipan knife is optional, 7cm round cutter, a Pyrex bowl that measures 6 inches across the top, a frying pan that measures 8 inches across the base, a 10 inch round board, a palette knife, a cupcake with a swirl, bake easy spray and PME glaze spray. You'll also need a bread knife for carving, Squires kitchen silver dust, rejuvenator fluid, sugar flare chocolate cream and Cornish cream dust, You'll need to make a sponge cake. You'll need 10 ounces of self-raising flour, 5 eggs, 10 ounces of butter, 10 ounces of caster sugar, vanilla extract, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Buttercream, 14 inch and six inch round drum, tylos, tea strainer, dessert spoon, and some cocoa for decoration. You'll also need to make a template for your coffee beans for the top of your coffee cup. I made mine out of card. First thing we're going to do is to make some white modelling paste for your saucer. Take 250 grams of your white fondant and knead it well. Add half a level teaspoon of tylose to the paste and knead until it's all completely kneaded in. This is now modelling paste. Wrap it up well and leave it to one side. We are now going to cover the cake board. You need 500 grams of white fondant and a small amount of black and knead together to make a light grey colour. Dust your work surface with corn flour or icing sugar. Roll out your grey sugar paste on your work surface until it's a little bigger than your 14 inch round cake drum board. Wet a piece of kitchen towel and wet your cake board all over. Place your rolled out fondant on top of your board and using a smoother, smooth the fondant onto the cake board. Trim off any excess paste with a kitchen knife or marzipan knife. Your board needs to dry out. I always prepare my board approximately 24 hours in advance. You will have a small amount of surplus grey fondant left over from the board. Knead it well and add some tylos to make modelling paste. Wrap up your grey modelling paste and put it to one side to use later. We are now going to make the saucer for our coffee cup. This also takes approximately five days to dry out. Knead your white modelling paste well. Dust your work surface with corn flour or icing sugar and roll out your white modelling paste we made earlier. Roll it out a little larger than our 10 inch round cake board. Place the 10 inch round cake board on top of the white modelling paste. We want the saucer to be nice and thick to give it strength. Dust your frying pan with icing sugar and place the circle of modelling paste we have cut out in it. We want a nice flat bottom and the size to turn up slightly to make our saucer. We are now going to make the spoon. Knead your grey modelling paste well and roll it out. Keep it quite nice and thick because your spoon will need strength. Place your teaspoon on top and then using your kitchen knife cut round the handle then turn your spoon over and cut round the spoon end. Once you've cut out your spoon place it on your board and use your finger to smooth round the edges. Once smooth dust the spoon with icing sugar and place the modelling paste on the spoon for it to take shape and dry. We are now going to make our claret modelling paste. Add some tylos to your fondant and knead it in well. Wrap the modelling paste and place to one side. To make the circle for the cupcake decoration, we need a small amount of white fondant, dust the work surface with corn flour, icing sugar and roll out the fondant. Using your seven centimetre circle cutter, cut out a circle of paste and leave on your foam pad or sponge to dry for approximately one day. We are now going to make your sponge cake. Cream together the caster sugar and butter. Sift in the flour, baking powder, then add the eggs and a couple of drops of vanilla extract and mix well. Spray your Pyrex bowl with a bake easy to stop it sticking to the bowl. Place your cake mixture in the bowl and bake your cake on 160 degrees electric fan oven for approximately one to one and a quarter hours. Once your cake is baked, turn it out onto a cooling rack until it has cooled down completely. I always bake mine the day before I want to decorate it. 
Once your sponge cake has cooled completely, place it in your Pyrex bowl and use a bread knife to level the top. Then place it on your work surface as I have done in the photo. Split jam and buttercream your cake, ready for decoration. Place your sponge cake on your 6 inch round cake drum, as I have done in the photo, onto your work surface. The cake should fit neatly on top of the cake board. Buttercream the outside of your sponge cake. Knead 1 to 1.2 kilos of fondant, dust your work surface with corn flour or icing sugar and roll out the white fondant ready to cover your sponge cake. Lift your fondant and place it on top of your sponge cake. Smooth with your hands and then with your smoother. Trim any excess fondant with a kitchen knife or marzipan knife, then smooth again with your smoother. Once you are happy with the finish of your cake, turn it over carefully and remove the six inch round cake drum from the top. Your cup now has a rim. Use your smoother again to smooth over any marks from turning it. Place your dry saucer from the frying pan on your work surface. Take your dry cake board, covered in the grey sugar paste and using a wet kitchen towel, make the area you want the saucer to sit on your cake board a little wet, then place the saucer on top. Then place your cup on the saucer in the centre. Knead a small amount of white fondant and dust your work surface, then roll out the white fondant. Place the 6 inch round cake drum on top of the fondant and cut round it. Smooth some buttercream over the top of your cake in your cup and place the cut out circle on top and smooth. We are now going to decorate the top of your coffee cup. Mix together some of the sugar flare dust colours using the cream, Cornish cream and chocolate brown. Add a few drops of rejuvenator and mix together. Using a paintbrush, paint a beige circle around the edge of the white circle of sugar paste we have put on top of your sponge cake. Be careful not to get it on the rim of your cup. Cut out your coffee bean template that you made on a piece of card. Knead some white modelling paste and roll it out, then place your template on top. Cut round the edges with a kitchen knife. Smooth any rough edges around the outside with your finger and using your knife cut a small section out of the centre of two of the shapes as I have shown in the photograph. Put a small amount of cocoa in a tea strainer and sift it over the top of your cut out coffee beans. Gently lift the coffee beans to shake off the excess cocoa. Move the cutouts of your coffee beans onto a clean board and then spray with the PME glaze. Wet the top of your coffee cup and place the coffee beans on top. To make the handle, we need a small amount of white modelling paste. Roll it into a thin sausage with your hand to approximately 12 centimetres long. Trim each end to give your handle a neat finish, then using a paintbrush, apply some edible glue on both ends and leave for a few minutes for it to become tacky before fixing to the side of the, your cup. Hold the handle in place until it stays. This will take a little while. Place your dry teaspoon on your work surface. Put some silver colour into a pot and add some rejuvenator. Mix it up, then paint your spoon. The rejuvenator makes it dry very quickly. Place your spoon to one side. Knead your claret modelling paste well and roll it out. Using the Windsor Block letter cutters, cut out the word Costa twice. Place your letters on a board and using your kitchen knife, cut a slant edge on both the ends of each S. See the photographs. Using a wet paintbrush, apply a little water to the cup where you want to place your letters. Then place the letters on the cup. Now stick the second set of Costa letters that we cut out onto our circle we made earlier to go on top of our cupcake. Roll three oval balls of claret modelling paste and cut a slit in each with your kitchen knife for coffee beans. Then stick them to the cupcake topper too. Place on top of your cupcake, then stick your cupcake onto your cake board. Your Costa coffee cup novelty cake is now complete. Thank you for watching. You can also find us on Facebook. I'll pop our link in the description of this video.